Hello, I am back today with a basic stamping video. One of my longtime readers uh, just took up stamping and she found that she had a lot of questions about how I even just clean my plates as I'm going along. So she asked me to do a quick video showing my stamping technique and I thought uh, stamping has actually changed a fair amount since I did my stamping basics post a long time ago and there are different kinds of stampers and everything on the market now and actually I use my preferred stamper is a completely different kind now so I thought that this might be um, a good time to just do a basic here's how I stamp video for anybody who is new to stamping or who is thinking about um, starting stamping. Okay so the basics of course you need a plate to stamp with. I'm going to be playing here today with Uber Chic Plate uh, 603. I'm not sure if you can see that. All right. Um, this is an Uber Chic Beauty Extra Large Sticky Stamper. So it has a little bit of stick to the top. This is my favorite stamper in the whole wide world. Um, here is one of my favorite stamping polishes, Conad. Conad has some issues. Sometimes it will stroke if you put on your top coat too quickly. So, uh, But it is one of my all-time standbys. And one of the things that this reader asked about was dealing with black polish because things can get really messy with black polish. So that's what I'm going to be using. Um, I like to put down uh, an absorbent surface under my um, plate when I stamp. I find that I, if I do it here, it's less likely that I'm going to brush it with my finger while it's still wet. And I am klutzy and clumsy, so for me, this is a good way to, to help kind of, especially with a polish like black, to help maintain the fallout. Uh, to clean my plates, I either use a cotton round like this, or I use one of these little guys that come in a package like this. These are actually awesome, but they are more expensive. So I tend to keep them for um, when when I'm doing like final cleanup to get the, the final amount of polish off and big globs of polish I will get with the more absorbent cotton rounds. And then of course there's a scraper. Um, there are so many different stampers out there these days. I have found that it makes a really big difference which scraper you use with which stamper. If a stamper comes with the scraper, definitely give it a shot because probably they knew what they were doing when they put these together and I for example have found that this uber chic scraper goes really well with this uber chic stamper. All right so let me show you exactly how I do it. Back in the olden days of the Conad hard Conad stampers what you would do is um, you would stamp more up and down. With a stamper like this you want to roll it over and you want to use a gentle rolling motion. If you push stuff is going to squish and it's just not even necessary. So let me demonstrate to you. All right, I will, if I'm really concerned, especially in a fine detail um, image like this, I will cover the entire image. Sometimes I only cover half and let the scraper pull the rest in. But if I want to make sure I'm doing a great job, I will cover the whole thing. Then I scrape fairly firmly, roll. Got a pretty darn good image there. You see that? Yep. Oh, beautiful. And then you can do a couple of things. You can roll it on if you want, or if you want to be absolutely sure where exactly you're placing something and you want to make sure you get centered placement, you can put push your finger right on down. And that's one of the great things about a damper like this is that you can uh, just just stick it in and you know the image is going to come up around. And you can do that to make sure you get good placement with French tips, whatever. Um, this did not come out well because I waited too long while I was talking to you. But I wanted to demonstrate that technique. And let's do it again. To clean up something like this, I just use sticky tape because it comes up pretty darn fast usually. And then I don't have to worry about acetone just dragging the black around. So to whatever degree I can get rid of the black just using the tape, I will do that. And oftentimes especially if I have um, a naked nail like this. The tape will pull it right up off my nail, too. So let's see. Yep. I'm doing a pretty good job of getting it mostly off my nail, too. So that way I don't have to worry about getting um, black all in my cuticles and things if I don't need to. All right, so let's clean this up. That's a fair amount of black there, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to just fill it up with acetone. Put some acetone on that and... Now I told her I use this one nail cleanup and that's how I do it. That's what I normally do, especially if, I need, if I've got polish on here that I want to protect. I'll just do that, pick it up like that, and then I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's try again. 
I'm going to just go for this big one right here. Scrape with a firm but gentle pressure. Roll over. Pick up beautiful image. I'm going to try to center this and boom. Perfect. Perfect. And let's do one more just because we're having such a good time. So oftentimes I will just go halfway like that of the image because I know that the scraper is going to pull enough across that I don't have to worry about it. And I scraped that one a little hard, so I'm going to have a little bald spot. But bear with me. There we go. Oh, and it didn't even have that bad of a bald spot. And once again, I am going to kind of put my nail over where I want it to show up, press down in, and boom. One more time with the cleanup. Boom, boom, boom. And like I say, if I want to make sure that I'm being very pristine and I'm getting all of the residue off, I'll follow up with one of these other little ones and then it's all bright and sparkly again, like I never used it. All right, so that's my basic stamping technique. Um, I will list all the products in the description box below. And if you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.